everybody. Good morning. Of course, as promised, we have our Good Day Cooks. We've got Eric from Austin Rotisserie. Good morning. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. And if people don't know where Austin Rotisserie is located, why don't we tell them first? Because All I right. Yeah, sure. Uh, we're in downtown Congress Avenue at the fairground. Oh, okay. So, it's a great know, location. Uh, it's got a fancy food hall. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We've been there for about two years. Uh, before that, we're a food truck. Uh, but yeah, it's been around two years that we're, we've been uh, in the fairground. Okay, perfect. Well, what are you going to show off for us today? Well, this is actually a recipe that just came about. My wife was craving lobster rolls. Okay, mm -hmm. fair. And you kind of got to borrow what you have. Yeah. So we had some lobsters. I was going to grill them, but we always have croissants at home, you know, since mm. my wife being the French. Oh, so yes. So it's kind of a, a play on that. Um, super simple. It's about four or five ingredients. Here I cheated and I kind of... Put a kind of a pre-mix, but I'll finish it off in here. Okay. But that's okay. before we do that, I'll just start toasting the the croissant. I think that's one of the the only cooking parts that you need to worry about besides having cooked lobster. Yeah, everybody loves a croissant. <laughs> croissant. A croissant. Yeah. My uh, brother studied abroad for six months, and my parents got obsessed with Paris, and my mom specifically with saying the word croissant. <laughs> 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 so. Well, my wife teaches me all the time how to say everything properly, but yeah. I kind of butcher it sometimes. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, so don't be afraid everything. to go in order. You just say, you know. Um, but you guys have obviously beautiful croissants, mm -hmm. lobster. Yes. What else do you guys serve up at? Well, your the main thing is rotisserie. You know, we yes. wanted to yeah. kind of uh, be the only place in Austin that's doing the real traditional French way. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a French word. It's a French process. <laughs> it was invented in France, so. Um, it's the recipe is French. We also do the potatoes that go under the chicken drippings. Yeah, right there in that. Ooh, that wow, that's beautiful. beautiful. So that's pretty much included with most of uh, oh, that looks good. the chickens. Uh, we also have a huge selection of sandwiches. Uh, this, this will be one that we'll have for brunch today and hopefully Ooh. next weekend. Uh, for brunch, Saturday and Sunday, we'll do a uh, croquemousse here. We, we'll do um, oh. a breakfast uh, croissant sandwich as well. Oh, man, what time does so your brunch hungry. start and end? Well, as soon as I get out of here, and then uh, 11 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> so opens at 11. You can find them at the fairground right off of Congress. Yep. And I will let you continue to take it. All right, perfect. It. Yes. And All right, so basically this is already kind of pre-mixed, as I mentioned, but the ingredients are simple. Uh, we get a little bit of lime juice. Okay. Which I'm just going to add a little bit more to it. Yum. Um, <laughs> you should drink it out <laughs> No, I'm kidding. I won't. Some <laughs> zest. Some Everybody zest. Everybody has some, but I kind of like to have a little taste. Okay. <laughs> Beautiful. All right. And finally, a little bit more of the celery. Celery. Okay. Not a big celery girl, but I will. Oh, but you won't even. Oh, this but it's for the yeah. lobster. Yeah, like, I don't know if people can just eat them like, by themselves. Oh, I do. Like ants on a log Ew, where you just no. put peanut butter and raisins. But this no. looks a lot better than ants on this a log. This is not ants on Ooh. a log. No, this, <laughs> this is, is elevated. Big step up. Elevated. All right. And if people want to come, can they just step right in? Or do you yeah. guys prefer reservations? No, 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 no. It's, a, it's a, like an elevated food hall. So okay. we come have in, about order. five different concepts. Uh -huh. And there we have full bars, great happy hours. Oh, nice. So let's say you don't want. Uh, French, there's, there's Asian, there's Venezuelan, there's mm -hmm. uh, Jew Boy Burgers, which is, they just came in there awesome, so well, a little so bit for everybody. Too. So all the more reason to come back again and again. Exactly. Yeah, you grab this sandwich, yes. you go get another <laughs> drink at a different place. <laughs> yes. That's what everybody that does. Like really fun. It's really fun. It's cute over there. I've never been, been over been there. there. No, I haven't. I, we'll have to go and check it out. You guys are officially invited. Especially after Thank this, you. I'm sure I'm going to be addicted. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> so once it's nice and toasted, just uh, ideally you want to have some Butter lettuce, but uh, I didn't have too much coffee before I got here, so I it's forgot okay. it. It's okay. <laughs> At least you made it. Who needs I'm the a lettuce? I had too much coffee. I'm yeah, like, she uh. can't like chill over there. <laughs> I know who needs a lettuce, right? Yeah, nah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so just kind of easy place it, and you can always adjust salt, pepper. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, you really can't go wrong. The only thing is, don't overcook the lobster. Do not overcook the lobster. What kind of beverage do you suggest goes well with this? To Water, to Adley. No. I'm kidding. <laughs> or what would your, your wife say? Would, would, well, like champagne. a real French. Champagne. She champagne for everything. So. Oh, okay. So this was champagne if, you, if you're wanting to. Or ask. mimosa. Okay. Yeah. Done. <laughs> or right. water, like Libby said. And here we go. This is. Ta da! It looks Oops. Ooh, <laughs> it's, it's it's gorgeous. gorgeous. It looks stunning. Who wants to try it? Yeah, you can. I can try this one. <laughs> you can try that one's already made. Yeah. Okay, I'll try this one. And then while we both have our mouths full, is there anything else that you wanted to add? I know we talked about yeah. your brunch hours, but just your hours in, in general. Yes, well, so when we started off, we were, um, oh, you know, pop-up, then a, then a 
food truck. The food truck was closed for about two years when we moved to the brick and mortar, kind of getting our bearings together, getting the right team. So yeah, we did a pop-up last Friday for Bastille Day at the Far Out Lounge where we ended. Oh yeah. So now we're gonna be reopening there, hopefully the first week of August. We just gotta get some uh, little upgrades for this food truck, but. Isn't it good? Oh yeah. my God, it's amazing. <laughs> it's so good, wow. I'm glad. I could eat like eight of these. It's a good breakfast. It's mm -hmm. so good. <laughs> Don't walk. Run. Run. <laughs> and you guys are open every day, 11 to 9, correct? Every day, 11 to 9 at the fairground, yeah. Oh my gosh. Me and Natalie are yeah, going to Yeah, we're like... going to come. We're moving in. <laughs> I'm Maybe, yeah. you guys like this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us this morning. And what are some other items that people should try when they cut? Yeah, what's cover? this? <laughs> oh, yeah, this what's... is a very simple sandwich. It's uh, one of our best sellers. It's called the Parisian. Mm -hmm. It's very simple. Our, well, our baguettes, our dough gets flown in from France every day. Oh, oh wow. We had exclusive rights for this company to send it to us. Oh, my God. That's and uh, which is butter, French salted butter, ham, and Swiss. That's Let me it. get some of that baguette. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to have another bite of this. But, Eric, thank you so much for coming on. No and problem.